Hey Aquarius, this is Soul. And Aquarius, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of April 24th through the 30th, 2017. The messages will, of course, be for uh, Aquarius rising and Aquarius moon. So please look at your moon and your rising signs for additional messages. All right, Aquarius, let's get right into your message. Messages, I should say. Um, the only reason why I'm... I'm sort of pausing and hesitating here because this tower has shown up here for three other zodiac signs i already spoke about worldly things that could be uh happening this upcoming week uh, because it's showing up more than once then it could be something that's really uh about to take place but anyway i'm not going to emphasize the energy that i had explained in the other videos if you wish you could look at those videos i think it was for um Capricorn and um, either Virgo or Libra but anyway for some of you that I'm about to read for you have the energy of the five of wands in the upright position so this is you know of course internal battles and struggles being defensive having you know uh, feeling like you're being attacked by others whether or not if it's on the external side that's what the energy ex you know comes in as if it's internal, it could be just you having to sort things out uh, because there's scattered energy going on with you. Now, this is this upcoming week. It's sending you upright. But as I already explained in another video that if it's, you know, because they've been getting the five of, uh, I think it was two videos that received the five of swords as the overall energy. And I explained there that if it was the five of wands, it's energy that usually comes in very fast, but it does not stick around. It disperses just as quickly as it comes in now because this is your overall energy for the week it could be you know exchanges uh with battles and struggles on the external side with fire signs leo aries sagittarius male or female or it could be just uh sometimes uh depending on the degree of wands that i receive it could be just you know inner restlessness or increased in you know energy but it could be, if it is that increased energy or restlessness, it could just be you feeling, you know, restless um, with a lot of things that you have to do or try to accomplish this upcoming week. But the five of wands comes in to say you will have the energy as long as that inner restlessness, if that's what is a buildup of, uh, you know, internal energy, then use it in a positive way. Um, it could be that, you know. I don't always see this as, you know, battles and struggles. It could be that the five of wands is showing up and I'm picking up increased energy for you, Aquarius. That means that you might be uh, having the energy to assist others because there are other people here in this card. So you might have that energy or it could be the energy coming from others and assisting you. It could go either way. I don't always stick to or, you know, I, well, I normally don't go with textbook uh, definitions. I just give you what spirit is given to me, but I'm picking up that there's something totally different here with this five of wands, but whatever it is, it might be that you, someone helps you out and they're energized to help you out, or it's you who is energized to help someone else out. It, it's involving several people. Okay. Or it could be several people uh, helping you out, but it's whatever it is that they're helping you out with or with, you are helping them out with you're going to be and they're going to be energized and completing it and maybe a project that you're working on you might be collaborating with someone to finish a project and it takes that many people or that amount of energy to complete the project all right with the uh, nine of pentacles in the reverse this is the completion of money being received money being owed uh in the reverse uh, it's related to work and finances, so it could have been money uh, given to you that was owed to you by the workplace environment, or it could be um, it's showing up in the reverse because the five of wands in terms of internal battles and struggles may have been related to some Aquariuses that I've been um, you know, reading for. Uh, having concerns over money and finances but this is in the reverse so that's completion of that energy uh, I just don't someone dipped into their 401k with the nine of uh, pinnacles showing up and it's in the reverse now the money um, may have been used for well hopefully it was used for good 
uses or purposes. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Either someone dipped in their 401k, someone uh, got almost uh, a large amount of money. Could have been a you know applying for credit. Money being returned from money being, uh, you know, lending out. It could have been that Aquarius loaned some more, uh, money out to uh, another person, family members, friends. It's a return of that money. OK, that's what I'm getting with this. In the middle of the week, we have, thank God, the three of swords. It's here, but it's in the reverse. OK, so that means that there's overcoming some sort of heartbreak heartache, conflict doesn't necessarily have to be associated with a love relationships, but it's a three. So it's a love triangle. So it could have been that, you know, someone's getting over having to take part in a love triangle or a threesome. OK, it could be also outside of a relationship, overcoming some sort of grief uh, heartache, separation, could have been a family member, a, f uh, a pet, someone at a distance. Um, the swords represents Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. So it could have been uh, heartbreak or some sort of loss associated with air signs. It could be any zodiac signs. The only time I like the three of swords uh, when it shows up in a general love reading or a general reading is when it's in the reverse. So it's overcoming some sort of pain or conflicting interests that created some sort of anxiety as well. All right. So midweek. But now on Friday going into the weekend, as I spoke about the tower before in the other videos, pay attention to the tower's energy. And this is something that is a major arcana, major life event, and it's in the upright position. So that means it's, you know, potential energy to um, take place or occur. This is normally associated with quarreling, fighting and arguing. Uh, so it's something that happens quickly and it's normally it happens quickly for a reason because it's, it, it prevents you from trying to control it. So for Aquarius this week, please pay attention to the tower's energy. Do not. Uh, enter into exchanges with uh, battles and, and quarreling with others. Someone may be trying to pick a fight or quarrel with you. Do not feed into that energy. It's not worth it. Uh, outside of that, uh, like I spoke about the tower uh, from the onset of this video, please look at the other videos for the messages. It's something to do with the world, um, you know, world events, uh, bombings and stuff like that. So I'm not picking up that uh, it's so much occurring in the United States, but I feel that it could be in other countries. Uh, the tower represents a building, uh, but because this tower has shown up three times in um, three videos and is in the upright position, that's even a stronger impact of what may potentially come. So wherever it is that you are, wherever you're you know, viewing my videos, just be aware of your um, environment you know, and uh, just pay attention to what's going on with your surroundings as well. All right. With that being said, I'm not ingesting any uh, fear into anyone. Um, you know, I try to keep out worldly events and just try to stay with the scope of the, the sign that I'm reading for. But I'm, I'm being drawn here. Uh, I don't know why I'm being drawn to uh, focus on this tower and this energy and what may occur this upcoming week in terms of possible bombings, uh, explosions or something. All right. With that being said, always take out of the reading what you can. Aquarius, leave the rest alone. Uh, I do appreciate you all I'm sending out a lot of love and light to you uh, this upcoming week. Please be safe until I talk to you again, Aquarius. Be well. Bye.